It's your boy Vince Ryder, and I'm just going to review The Mitchells and versus The Machines. And yeah, pretty much movies like this, I don't really watch much of them or really talk about them at all. But this one, I just got done watching. i just giving you my thoughts about it. You know, basically, this movie itself kind of really surrounds... Uh, is It could be catered in a, a way of the, you know, basically this generation of, uh, you know young teens and probably you know a lot of kids would like this and as well as family because it's a family care movie but also uh people within my demographic of being young adults especially college kids and it sort of kind of feels that way in this movie i don't know for like most of the time as i'm watching this it is sort of reminiscent to like uh the lego movie or what one of the I, I I feel like one of the comedy kind of driven movies, but also has that emotional feel to it. I don't know. A lot of times when people don't know what this movie's about, they kind of resort to basically, you know, they kind of resort to just having it like any kind of Disney movie. But this is not really from Disney. I heard it's from Sony or something. May it deal with Netflix. I don't know what's that about. But one thing I do know about is that this movie is just a lot of fun. A lot of LSD honestly, but a lot of fun. There's a lot of trippiness surrounding it. Uh, I do like how the visuals work uh, with just how it's animated, you know, especially how it's, you know, brought up within the, the bonds of the family and also the, the given message. And you can definitely see where this movie is heading to, but it's about how this movie sort of fills that void of, uh, I guess, a happy kind of family movie. I don't know. I feel like this is sort of like that campers feel that especially how the father is like sort of like uh, very adjusted into, you know, camping or pretty much uh, survival outdoors. And you have the daughter that happens to be. So this is basically almost like a father and daughter movie where it's surrounding, you know, this kind of family aspect and this kind of love for uh, what the family bond is truly about. And sometimes you just can't get along with your family. I know for a fact that one thing that I took from this movie is that I knew I couldn't get along with my family and, you know, they couldn't understand. But when the world's ending and stuff like that, you become more close, which I kind of wish I could say the same for like when the, you know, pandemic happens. But, you know, that's just another thing. Um, but this is definitely almost, you know, kind of wacky and surreal because it's about how, you know, humans are going to be launched to space and by robots forever. And I like how the robot brings that intro, just goes into full darkness and just like playing, you know, like happy mode and, you know, and goes to full darkness and back again. There's just some rhythm of just silliness and just wackiness around this movie. And I really do enjoy kind of that aspect. There's some certain movies that I couldn't really think about, not just, you know, the Spider-Verse or Lego movie due to its creators. But I, it just reminds me of some movies that really has that fun, you know, feel aspect, feel free kind of like vibe that, you know, something like this would almost, I think I seen something like this probably a while ago. I mean, I, I believe there was another, there's a couple like, you know, animation movies that involves the apocalypse, but this is something that happens to be more fun and not really taken seriously. And it's pretty badass as well, especially how the fight scenes, um, during like one of the the final battles i mean just saying don't mess with the mom <laughs> and also how it, like this this futuristic world you know notice that the technology like is kind of like a commentary denominator of this movie like they basically just tell, like literally uh when there was this part where they turn off the router and literally everybody's freaking out there's no internet in the universe and literally everyone is like freaking out and wishing for internet and i'm thinking to myself like that's probably what's gonna happen <laughs> because it does seem like this movie itself especially how and during this decade previously how it feels like you know the world is ending we have a movie that the world's ending but they made somewhat of a fun comedy to it I, there was something interesting about Katie, how she basically, you know, you kind of see her like you, you wouldn't think that she would get along when especially how the father would bring out some dumb ideas. And pretty much uh, some of these ideas would actually, you know, stress the Katie out, but it didn't affect her. Uh, they were happy no matter what. There was this sense of optimism of the movie that really surrounds like how you know these <laughs> how these characters basically really see themselves and becoming happy and just you know enjoying one another's company no matter what the situation is and i really kind of do find that you know interesting especially you don't really see that a lot 
in reality of me, you know, young adults. It's, I mean, I guess I'm speaking for myself, but, you know, it's just that teens and young adults are definitely different, you know, compared to now from, you know, back then. I mean, the movie definitely shows that, you know, kind of just shows like the relationship from back then. But how was their relationship now? It's this coming of age kind of sense that, you know, in reality, like your your life is going to be, you know, different in terms of your relationship with your family. And this movie really goes into that, you know, very well. And it goes into the truth, even though some people might think it, it's corny in cases. I mean, it's a kid's movie. It's it's a family movie. And it truly is a family movie because it just really brings a lot of strings surrounding of how the family bonds and how they really see each other and the truth uh, behind all of it. So, I mean, this movie itself, it's a lot of craziness. It's uh, its fun. It's um, I really like the music. And I really like how a lot of the scenes, how hilarious and sometimes unnecessarily hilarious, but also just fun and hilarious because you really kind of get the feel of what this movie really is and what it really like, almost like what the character with this movie kind of is for, because it's just a happy, you know, you know, um, Go hearted kind of movie that just has a lot of energy and a lot of wacky moments and actually a lot of memes because there is a lot of moments in this movie where it just just memes on memes and they're just raining like just the amount of like um, effects especially during the action scenes and sometimes I, I kind of wish it didn't really you know go to like you know full like action then goes to serious and then it goes into funny like literally not even three seconds in but it, it it's sort of it doesn't feel rushed because it just feels like that's what this movie is. It's like the person that you kind of see for who or who she or he is, uh, you know, as a person and you just have to roll with it. So other than that, yeah, I really did this. I don't know. I would give it like an eight out of 10 for families. For me personally, for anyone that is interested, like in my age demographic of young adults, it's it, it's it, it might relate. I'll just say that. It might relate to you. If you have a full-on family that you didn't get along with, you can look at this movie and kind of see it like, oh, I I guess that's me, you know? <laughs> I guess that's me. 